Hey, mister, can you use a hand? I can use a bunch of them. Shortcut, he says. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't know which I need worse. Meal, sleep, or good hot bath. How about you, Willie? Could you use something to eat, huh? Well, the truth is, Mr. Maverick, I could have sorely used some employment. I'm a hard worker, as you can see. And I can do just about anything I set my mind to. I come west to make my fortune. Well, Si, you think you can dig up some work for this young fella? Yeah, come on, son. Chores is one thing we're never short of around here, especially with so few of us doing them. And was I you, I'd start with the bath. Well, uh, thank you for helping out, son. You did a fine job. Here, here's two dollars. Oh, no, I can't accept cash money. Son, you're gonna find a fortune pretty hard to come by with that kind of attitude. And you can't get rich doing chores. I hope this trailblazer can find you something more steady in town, if anybody's still talking to him, that is. Look out! Get out! <laughs> old Duncan's thumb. It gets a little heavy on those scales. He's a nice man, but he does love to cheat. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll watch real careful. Good morning, Brett. Yeah, that's your opinion. Willie, Willie, once you get that stuff all boxed up, I'll meet you right down the street in the Red Ox Saloon. That was quite a show. You won this place, too, Mr. Maverick? Just a piece of it, Willie. Just a little piece of it. Tom Guthrie, meet Willie True Blood. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Guthrie. Jack, say hello to Willie. Hello, Willie. Nice to meet you. Now, where'd I stop counting? Hey, uh, Tom, uh, the boy needs some work just so he can get situated. I was hoping maybe you'd give him something clean and sweeping. I don't know, Brett. Well, I don't expect no wages, Mr. Guthrie. Just a place to sleep and uh, and a meal a day. You can't bang sleeping and a meal. Tom, I, uh, oh boy. All right, son. Jack. Three. Jack. Huh? Take Willie out back and get him started cleaning the store. Come on, son. Thanks, Mr. Guthrie. I appreciate it. You had any schooling, son? Not much, sir. Maverick, you up yet? Yeah, come on in, Willie. One pitcher of hot water and one cup of New Orleans coffee. Yeah, good, good. Jack treating you all right? Well, everybody's being real neighborly. Well, Shifty says I eat too much. <laughs> you know, I think he cheats at cards. Oh, you got a good eye, son. <laughs> Did you find out what I wanted to know about that wire? Yes, sir. Mr. Murphy said uh, that telegram originated in New York City. Ah, uh, well. I'm not surprised. Look out! Tulsa Jack. I think I've had enough of this. I know I've had enough of this. Mr. Madison. Willie. Willie, there are two times when it's best not to tap a man on the back. The first time is when he's heeding nature's call, and the other is when the hair on the back of his neck is standing straight up. Now, what is it? A uh, man in the alley asked me to find you. You all right? Whoever it is, tell him he can come in here. Well, I did. But he says he needs to talk to you private. Something about the spirit of the hills has uncovered a sacred trail. Said you'd understand. Yeah, all right, Willie. Jack's got something for you to do, honey. Yeah. Oh, say, Maverick, have you seen Tom? Yeah, 
in this life that's got to count for something. I see you. Who may find the day a mite, just a mite empty. Maverick was a man when it counted. Just exactly what I said. Right, Willie? Well, you're the only one left, Willie. We might as well get on with it. Brett, have you gone loco and the spores greener than Hewlett's pasture? Well, so was William Barney once. He's Bly's ace. If I got past all the others, he'd get his chance. That the way it is, Willie? Yes, sir. How did you know, Brett? He has a gunner's thumb. Not too hard to spot. Got a callus on that thumb. Man just doesn't get one of those unless he slapped the hammer back on a pistol for a number of years. Well, we might as well see if all that practice did you any good, Willie. Go on, Willie. You made a clear challenge. Well, it took you long enough. Go on, boy. Inside of a week, everyone in this territory will know your name. Yeah, go ahead, Willie. Just don't. Pay any attention to the fact that I'm unarmed. Nobody's gonna know. He won't write it that way. Once you get used to living on the run, Willie, you're just gonna love fame. Of course, you're gonna have to learn to watch your back. The people who call you friend. And there'll always be snakes like Bly to set you up, but you'll get used to it. Hell, you can get used to anything. I am gonna be a little curious to... See how you think you're going to get out of town without getting hung first, but then won't be my problem, will it? Young man, you better... Mitch, stand still. This ain't like you said it was going to be. He ain't at all like you said he was. A bloodsucker. He deserved to die. You're the one that wanted to make something of yourself. To amount to something. Now, boy, don't throw away your chance now. I ain't shot nothing but tin cans since I was a boy. Like some kind of a game. Dreaming of a way out. A way for someone to take notice. But a, a tin can don't look you in the eye and make you feel like you mean something. Mr. Maverick, I believe I could shoot you. But I also believe I'd be shooting the wrong man. Don't be a fool, boy! I'm giving you the opportunity of a lifetime. And I think I'll take it. Right now. All right, Willie. All right, Willie. That's enough. That's enough. I think the man gets the message. Hey, Jack, set him up all the way around. Set one up for Willie, too. I think the boy just became old enough to have himself a beer. Play us a little tune, Fat. Yes. Oh, 